Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. In this episode, we will be discussing... Crafting, focusing on those crew skills that make things. In Sotor, there are six crafting skills. Biochem, Armstech, Cybertech, Armormech, Synthweaving, and Artifice. Each one has its own perks. Some can make endgame gear for others if you are on operations. Some can make augments which help make your gear better, and some can make cosmetic things and fun odds and ends like decorations, dyes, and crystals. You might choose armor mech because you like making cool looking armor, or arm stick because you make cool looking guns. Don't stress about choosing the wrong one. Crafters who decide to be serious about their max level crafting often end up with multiple skills spread across multiple characters, even having a character dedicated to each crafting skill. For now, choose one that looks fun. There are no especially good or bad ones for a beginner player. If you're looking for a crafting skill to make credits, I suggest taking one that makes Augment Kits. Augment Kits are an item that most characters will need at endgame operations and PvE. The crafting skills that can make Augment Kits are Arms Tech, Armor Mech, and Synth Weaving. If you're looking for a crafting skill that's a lot of fun and has lots of cool little secret and special things, I suggest taking Artifice as they can make special crystals and special dyes. You can also pick two gathering skills, which help you gather materials. Your gathering skills should complement your crew skills choice. You can also choose three gathering skills if you just want to collect things while you're exploring the world and don't actually want to craft anything. Once you've started gathering materials, you can save yourself some trouble by placing all your materials in your yellow legacy bank. You gain this when you get your first stronghold. Items in your legacy bank can be used by any of your crafting characters. To start crafting, head to the fleet. Press the M key to open your map. You want to head to the strongholds and crew skills section of the map. The crafting trainers are around the outer edge, in rooms with yellow diamonds over their heads. You can interact with them to learn your one crafting skill and two gathering skills. Once you have learned your skills, you can press B or the diamond icon on the menu to open the crafting window. This will show your companions and your crafting and gathering skills. When you press the icon that represents your crafting skill, it will show you the schematics you can make and what materials you need. For your gathering skills, it will show you the missions you can run and what you get from them. As you level up your crafting, you can train new schematics that let you make new things. These schematics can be bought from your trainer. There are also certain special schematics that can be found around the world and from certain gathering skills. Try searching the GTN if you're interested in cosmetic schematics. Search for crafting schematic, then your crafting skill. The ones you don't have will be lighted up, and the ones you have will be grayed out. Armor Mech and Synth Weaving especially have a lot of cosmetic schematics you can buy from the GTN. In a recent update in Sotor, there is a bit of a change in the way crafting works. You used to use materials to make the items you want. Now you use materials to make components, which are just normal crafting schematic, and you can use the components to make your crafted items. It's just an extra step. You level crafting by crafting schematics that are close to your crafting level. When you open your crafting skills, crafting schematics that have their numbers in yellow or orange will level up your crafting skill. Green and gray will not level you up. Send your companions out on gathering missions to get the materials you need, or buy them from the GTN. Keep doing that until you hit the max level crafting. There are specific ways to do it fastest from zero to the max level of crafting. I suggest Google Tor Community Crafting, T-O-R Community Space Crafting. There's really good guides for every crafting skill. When you're sending your companions out on gathering missions, keep in mind certain types of missions or better rewards than others. Wealthy is the best, rich is the second best, and third best is bountiful, so try and always send them out on the wealthy missions. As you make items and level your crafting, you can reverse engineer the items you've made. It's better known as RE-ing. RE-ing items will return you a few of the materials it costs to make them in the first place. This is useful to gain more materials while you are leveling crafting. You can do this by clicking the tiny reverse engineer symbol at the top of your inventory, then right clicking the item you want to RE. Items highlighted in your inventory are ones you can RE. Don't accidentally RE your own gear. Other items can be RE to learn a better version of that item. Example, a green item can sometimes be RE to make a blue item. A blue can be RE to make a purple. Many crafted items can be RE'd this way. It will tell you when you roll over the item with RE icon on if it can be used to learn a new schematic or not. Many endgame items can also be RE'd. For example, armorings, mods, enhancements, hilts, barrels, and more can be RE'd from gear that comes from the level 65 crystal vendors and from operations. These items can be crafted from rare materials that drop from operations. Keep in mind these items sometimes cost more materials to make than they would cost to buy straight on the GTN. Augments are a type of item that enhances your gear and can only be obtained through crafting, crafted by armor mech, 
Armstech, and Synthweaving, or buying them on the GTN from another crafter. You can add an augment to each of your 14 pieces of gear, and each one will give you a small stat boost. It can be very expensive to augment your character, so don't worry about doing it unless you want to do endgame operations on a regular basis. Or really into those hardboard flashpoints. To augment a piece of gear, you'll need to craft or buy an augmentation kit. You'll need to go to a modification station and add your kit to your piece of gear. And then you'll need to craft or buy an augment to place inside that augment slot by right clicking your gear piece and dragging the augment in. Knowing which types of augments you need is a whole different beast. It will depend on what role you're in, for example if you're a tank, a DPS, or a healer, and what combination of stats you currently already have from your armor. If you can't gather or afford the materials for the best purple augments, blue augments are a great alternative. You can then replace them as you acquire purple augments. Apart from armor and cosmetic armor, crafters can also make decorations. If you want to see the list of all crafted decorations, go to tor-decorating.com and in the menu go Decorations by Source Crafted. There's a whole bunch of crafted decorations you can make, and if you want to make them all, you have to spread your crafting across all your characters. Whether you want to beef your character up in battle, or make fun cosmetic stuff, crafting is a great thing to explore in Star Wars The Old Republic. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Academy. If you have any tips, tricks, or questions about crafting, feel free to post them in the comments below. In the next episode, we'll be talking about something fun, pet collecting. Don't forget to subscribe to show your support for this series, and to be notified when the next episodes come out.